this was for Honey's Slim Pickens Art Journal Challenge. My honey was my seven-year-old daughter. My husband was not available, so she picked out five items. And um, I was happy with the stencil. I thought that was a good idea. The compass I liked. Then there were the metallic crayons, blue ballpoint, and a found partial acorn shell. So the acorn shell was the inspiration for the entire thing. I love art that has found objects in it. And then natural found objects on top of it to me is like double treasure. So that was what created the whole theme. And I used the stencil that had the little leaves on it because I thought, okay, I'm going to do an acorn and like a fall thing. It's April, but hey, you got to you got to use what you So have. I started drawing this little squirrel. I didn't even look at a picture of a squirrel. I just used squirrels from my memory. And I started thinking, what's a squirrel look like? How do you even know what a squirrel is? I know they have a big bushy ch tail and I wanted him to be holding the acorn. So that's just what I did. He's like scribbled with ballpoint. And then I started filling him in with the metallic crayons. Autumn is really my favorite time of the year. So coloring autumn leaves in in spring, it was really a treat. It was pretty exciting. So these metallic crayons are really fun to play with. And I don't know how many artists out there actually use crayons, but when you get the crayons going, all of a sudden it takes you back to the freedom and this carefree creation that I know I had as a child. I'm sure lots of people can identify with that. I used the compass to create these orbs. I don't even really know what the orbs represent. I was thinking, okay, maybe the energy, maybe bubbles of oxygen. I don't know how they play in the story, but there they are. I went a little rogue at this point because I had nothing to attach my acorn with. So this is number six item. I don't know, cheating, not cheating, you be the judge, I'm sure you will. But um, I had to attach my acorn somehow. I wasn't going to use spit and bubble gum. You know, that could be an option. Six and seven, spit and bubble gum. My ballpoint wouldn't write over the pen for my autograph, so I've used the compass pencil to sign it. And here is my finished product. It was such a fun challenge, and I would never in five million years have created this if it hadn't been for these items that my daughter selected and to Allie for creating this challenge. So it's a lot of fun. So if you like videos like this, hit the subscribe button with the bell and you can see more of them. And check out Allie's challenge. I'll put that in the link below. Have a great day.